Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today we're doing my July favorites video. I only have a handful of items to talk about. I think I only have five items today, um, and I apologize in advance if anything blows up because I'm filming this in the middle of a sporadic thunderstorm. It keeps coming in and out, so pray that I don't explode. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So let's start with skincare and then we'll move into makeup. First item for skincare that I have been loving this month is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask and this is the red clay version. This is a clay mask that has little kind of grains in it that exfoliate your skin. So I like to apply this after removing my makeup and then leave it on for I think it's 10 or 15 minutes. And then when I take it off, I like to just add warm water and kind of And then to remove it, I just add a little bit of warm water and scrub in circular motions and then rinse it off clean and it leaves my skin feeling super soft, purified, but not stripped. They do two other versions of this mask as well, a charcoal and a eucalyptus. And um, I chose the red one because I liked that it was going to exfoliate my skin. But I think I want to try the green one next because I just love anything that's scented with eucalyptus. My next favorite, I think, is my favorite favorite of my favorites. And this is a moisturizer. This is the Lancome Energy De V Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. They call it liquid care because it's sort of serum, sort of moisturizer. You can use it as one or the other or both. I, in the morning time, use it as my moisturizer and at night I use it as my serum. I love this because as I put it onto my skin, it absorbs instantly. It leaves my skin glowing but not sticky or greasy or wet and it also just does something that really brightens up the skin almost instantly. It has lactic acid in it and antioxidants and it also has goji berry, lemon balm, and wild yam extract in it, which are all really great anti-aging um, sort of ingredients, and they're all plant-based, which is really nice as well. The smell of this, I think it smells like white tea or something, just very calm and very soft, and it's just a joy to apply. I mean, I've used this much of it in the month of July, and I... I'm gonna be sad the day this ends. I actually don't think it's that expensive being from Lancome. It's $55 and for Lancome for a serum that is really inexpensive. Most of their products range from like $80 to $200. So I've definitely been really impressed with that serum slash moisturizer. Now on to skincare slash makeup. This is the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. This I think you probably have all noticed I mentioned in like half of my videos from July. This was like my what are you called? This is my primer of choice right now. I have been using this um, underneath my makeup when I wear makeup, and then on days I don't wear makeup, I'll mix a little bit of this with my sunscreen just to thin it out, because the sunscreen I have is kind of thick and dries really quickly, so this helps me maneuver it for longer. You'll see that in an upcoming video I'm planning on hopefully doing a skincare routine eventually, but my skincare routine has just been so inconsistent because I've been trying new things and trying to figure out stuff. So hopefully you'll get a skincare routine eventually. But back to this, I have been loving this. It just leaves my skin feeling fresh and hydrated, but again, not greasy. I don't like that silicone slippery thing that a lot of primers do. Um, so that's why you see me like skip priming in a lot of my videos. If I do use primer, it's either like a hydrating primer or a glow boosting primer or a shimmery primer or a color correcting primer, but I usually don't use those like straight up plain like silicone slip primers. So this um, being silicone free, I have been loving. Did I just say that I haven't been wearing foundation that much during July? Because I've really been avoiding foundation. Um, except when filming or when trying to test out a product for you. Um, and that is just because I have been too reliant on it recently. I kind of want to let my skin breathe and do its thing for a while. But when I have been wearing foundation um, outside of filming, I have been wearing this. This is the Tawny Doll Ultra Cushion from Lancome. And I have this in the shade 140. I did a full comparison review on this plus the other two versions of Tawny Doll, one of which I have on my face now. Um, so if you want to see that and kind of learn more about this, you can check that out in the card above. But this has been the one I've been reaching for most this month just because it's new and I really like the way that it applies. I like the puff even though it's not necessarily the cleanest way to apply. Um, you get really good coverage so I can sometimes skip concealer with this especially if I'm going for a really natural look. I can just use this where I need the coverage around the eyes and nose and then sort of blend it to nothing on the outsides of the face. So this has just been my foundation of choice this month. And my last favorite is something for lips. This is the Ulta Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Festival. And this is just a nice neutral nude shade. Not too pink, not too brown, not too peach. Just kind of a good all-around nude. And it's not that matte. It says matte, but it's more like creamy 
and balmy. I find it to be really comfortable on the lips. It's nice, quick, and easy. It goes with everything. I can put it on to go to work. I can put it on with jeans and a t-shirt. I can put it on if I'm going out. It just kind of works with everything. And it's also relatively inexpensive. I have found myself really liking expensive nude lipsticks recently. So it's nice to find something for $8 rather than $30. And those are my July favorites. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Um, I think it was nice to kind of pare it down and just talk about the five things that I've really been hardcore loving this month. If you all like that format rather than me talking about 14 things, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if there's anything that you think I should be checking out during the month of August. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click on my face now. I've got links to everything I talked about plus all my social media in the description box below for you and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Using the Frosted Apricot Lipstick from Estee Lauder and I am just applying that and then blending in with my fingertips